The reflection of light follows the same law of reflection as waves. The angle of incidence equals to the angle of reflection. The image produced by a plain mirror is the same size as the object that is upright and virtual, and uh, it is the same distance uh, behind the mirror as the object in front of the mirror. For refraction, we talked about this thing called the index of refraction, n, that is defined as the speed of light in vacuum divided by the speed of light in that particular medium. So n equals to 1 for vacuum, and n is bigger than 1 for all other medium. The law of refraction is the same as the law of refraction for waves. But in for light, we usually use the, the Snell's law, which is the equivalent of that. It's the, the n1 sine theta 1 equals to n2 sine theta 2, just because for light, we usually talk about the n instead of v. And uh, just like the waves, if we have smaller n, that means uh, light is faster in that medium. And on that side, we would have a bigger angle. For example, when light goes from water into air, slower medium to fast medium, bigger n for water to smaller n for air, the angle gets uh, bigger. And when we increase the angle of incidence, the angle of refraction would also increase. And we can keep increasing the angle of incidence until we get to this angle we call critical angle. The angle of refraction would increase to 90 degrees. If we keep increasing the angle of incidence beyond the critical angle, what happens is that the no light will get out into the air. All of the beam is going to get reflected. So this is what we call total internal reflection. At the critical angle, the angle of refraction is 90 degrees. So we can use Snell's law to find the critical angle. N1 sine critical angle equals to N2 times uh, sine 90 degrees. And sine 90 degrees is 1. That means uh, sine critical angle is uh, N2 over N1. And we only have critical angle, we only have total internal reflection when N2 is smaller than N1, when light is going from a slower medium to a fast medium. And the total internal reflection happens when the angle of incidence is bigger than the critical angle. Total internal reflection is how optical fibers keep light inside the fiber over long distance.